Michelle Valentine Show, and as promised, we are going to give you the dish on the new romance novelist. Well, actually, she's not a new romance novelist. This is her new romance novel by Ruth Owen called The Gambler's Daughter. Hello, Ruth. How are you? Hello, Michelle. Hello, hello. Uh, if anyone has noticed, you've got just stacks of books here, the shameless self-promotion. <laughs> and actually, I have a cute story to tell. Before Ruth came on the set, we're lining up all the little books so that, you know, so that it's a nice little display going on here. And she came up to me and says, do you think you could possibly, possibly put this book in the front because that's my new one? <laughs> I was like, sure, of course. A little shameless promotion going on here. So of course, that's something to be proud of, my goodness. And it actually looks like, this book looks like it's the thickest one so far of all the ones you've written, correct? Actually, it's very different from the others. It's a oh. historical novel, uh -huh. um, Regency historical, old England you know, crashing waves on the coast of Cornwall and all that great stuff like oh, that. Nice. Yeah, nice. and the rest are um, set in modern day. So, uh -huh. how did you get started with uh, with writing this type of books? Well, um, I'd always wanted to be a writer, mm -hmm. um, and I graduated from college um, more years ago than I am going to admit, and um, <laughs> uh, decided I wanted to write something, and quickly went into computer programming to um, sort of make a living. But I always wanted to write, and um, Eventually, I just actually um, started to sit down and write a novel, and that's how it happens. You first start to just sit down and write, and, and um, the first few got just tons of rejections, and I can mm -hmm. paper my wall with them. But, um, <laughs> but uh, eventually, I got the call in 91 um, from Bantam Books, and that's how it all started. That's great. Wow. So I was reading your bio that you mm -hmm. sent me, and you had been in the computer industry for like 15 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I assumed that after your nine to five job, you would go home, have dinner, and dash off to your uh, computer or and typewriter. Uh, or typewriter. That I know. <laughs> and uh, this is still early. No, no, no. But I mean, and, some um, people like to write right. in typewriters, you know. And, and you would type oh, away till mm -hmm. till late hours of the morning. Well, is that how actually, it sort of only the other way around. I got up early, sometimes mm -hmm. at two and three in the morning to write. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of commitment. Wow, mm -hmm. so 2, 3 in the morning, you'd start writing, then you'd look yeah. at the clock and go, oh, it's 7 in the morning, I need to take a shower and get ready for my regular job. Uh -huh. Yes. So yes. then you would come home from work and basically take a long nap. <laughs> 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 but, um, but eventually the books came out, so that was pretty exciting. Uh -huh. and okay, yeah. so let's wind back a little bit here. So you had always wanted to be a writer, so mm -hmm. you would always go, oh, I can, what, what compels mm -hmm. you to go, oh, I can write one of these things? I mean, this is... Well, actually, when I got out of college, I was a, I was a literary snob, I must admit, I was, I was. Um, I would never read romance novels because, you know, I only read Shakespeare and Dickens, which actually are romance novels. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, um, I, actually it was um, one time I was housebound, I was sick for a weekend and a friend gave me a literal bag, grocery bag of books, romance mm -hmm. novels, said, here, read these, you'll love them. And I said, okay, well, I'm desperate because I was <laughs> a voracious reader. And I did love them. They were wonderful. They were fun. They were entertaining. They give you a couple of hours of entertainment in a very, very busy day. And I can't think of anything um, more wonderful to do for a person. Now, I so, have a question for you. If you were reading Shakespeare mm -hmm. and Dickens, right, uh, and you're reading this type of literature, what was your first impression, the first book you ever picked up? What did you find that was refreshing about it? Um, on the romance novels? Yes. Um, it under, they understood the human heart. Um, uh, um, which I believe is is the, the core of every gr great piece of writing. Um, they understood sort of the good parts and the bad parts of people, and uh, that to me is very exciting. I like mysteries, I like science fiction, but to me the um, relationship between two people is the is the um, mis most mysterious and wonderful thing of all. So before reading these books, these romance novels, mm -hmm. and you said you had wanted to write something. Mm -hmm. What did you what did you plan on writing then? If oh, you had to ask me that. <laughs> oh, well. The science book, no. <laughs> the, the, the great American novel. Uh -huh. oh, it was so boring. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still sitting, the half that I finished is still sitting oh, at the bottom my of my, my, um, my dresser, never wow. to see the light of day. So how, how much time did you, do you think you possibly put into that um, half luckily, novel? Luckily, only about a year. Only a year? <laughs> <laughs> Only a year. Oh, okay. my gosh. Uh, so. so the style of writing mm -hmm. is, is different for this than, it is. than it's a writing lot. a classic type of book. It is. Um, and I, I mean, literary fiction is wonderful. Um, but literary fiction uh, um, likes the words mm -hmm. more than the characters in the story. Mm -hmm. At least that's my impression. Mm -hmm. And um, 
what I liked about the romance novels is I like the characters and the story. So it is a different pacing. It is a different mm -hmm. uh, use of dialogue. Um, but um, it is designed to tell a story in 400 pages or so. So. Wow. So mm -hmm. the new book that you did now, because it's much larger and thicker, basically, is what I'm saying, compared mm -hmm. to the other books that you have out. Did it take you longer to do, or oh, was yes. it? Oh, it oh, did. Yes. Okay. Yes. So just because you had 12 or 11 books already done doesn't mean this one took you oh, no. in a snap, right? In fact, that's one of the fallacies, I think, of writers. Um, the books get harder, not easier, as you go along. Mm -hmm. Is that true? So, Why? Um, I think because your internal editor, which is always telling you that you're writing the worst thing that ever was possibly <laughs> written, gets louder. And also, you, you set higher standards for yourself. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's that, yeah, that's very yeah. common. As you keep writing, you go, oh, you keep changing and write. Even right. between the first part of the book and the last part of the book, it can uh -huh. be very different. So, you have a problem just so bringing up fresh ideas for the new books? Not really fresh ideas. Um, fresh stories, yes. Difference between a situation and a complete story is immense. Mm -hmm. But um, Okay, so when you came up with mm -hmm. an idea to write your first romance novel, mm -hmm. and you wrote it, mm -hmm. and you submitted it to how many publishing houses do you think? Uh, I think it was about four wow. that I did altogether. Mm -hmm. um, and I, 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 there were some changes along the way. <laughs> <laughs> I got some wonderful feedback from editors, and finally I got an editor, Beth the Guzman at Bantam, who said, send it. And I called everyone in the universe at that point, and uh, it was a wonderful day. It's, it's, there's no feeling like that in the world. Wow, so yeah. you got the call from Bantam, and they were, mm -hmm. they were like, we love your manuscript, and we want to buy this book, and, yeah. and we want to make you famous, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how long did it really take you to write the first book, or the first manuscript? The first book, actually, because I was learning, um, took about a year and a half. A year and a half. Mm -hmm. So you were still obviously then working for the computer. Uh, yes. Oh industry. yes. Yes. Uh -huh. In fact, okay. um, yeah, that has continued a long time. But uh -huh. um, one thing is that I um, joined a writers organization, uh -huh. and they taught me things like um, pacing mm -hmm. and sure. story structure, which sure. are very important. And yes. Sure. I, actually, well, I, we didn't we hear when we were at that seminar mm -hmm. that you have to commit yourself to at least writing what was it four pages a day at least. There I should mean, be some sort of there is There's like a page in that sense, right? Yeah, that's interesting. And you do have to commit to it. I don't know if a page number is a good idea, but you do have to commit a solid. Right. At least make sure day, that really. you are in front of that computer and do not mm -hmm. move until you get something going. So yes. maybe one day it could be one page, yes. another day it could be uh, certainly, 20 pages. Certainly. Everybody. So, all right. Different. Stay tuned. We're going mm -hmm. to talk more about Ruth Owen's books. We'll be right back. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation. 